More than 70 people are starting the process of rebuilding their lives after a fire destroyed the East Point apartment building where they lived. That's right. Investigators suspect a lightning strike caused this fire. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy has an update on what happens next for these families. Erica. For the more than 70 people who lived in the 12 units that were destroyed by fire here at the park at Galloway apartment complex, their lives are forever changed. But now other residents, a nonprofit and even a local school are pitching in to help these families rebuild. Fire crews were called out to battle the blaze just before 3:30 Wednesday afternoon. And when they got here, the building was fully engulfed. Officials say another close by building was impacted as well. Resident Jacques Howard says it's a tragedy because there are many young children who live there. This is a lot of families, um, preferably I would say single mothers with a lot of kids. Yeah, so it's a lot of that out here. The Red Cross has stepped in to help out the families by offering comfort kits and assisting with people's immediate needs. Resident Jackie Terry says this feels like deja vu. At that point, I knew it was us uh, here at this complex. And we just had a fire last year, so I was very, I was very frightened. Terry's building was spared, but two others a few rows over weren't. Howard says he thinks lightning triggered the inferno. And um, I just happened to tell my friends that uh, lately lightning been striking things, so we walked outside because we kept seeing the police ride around, and we looked over here and it was on fire. The cause of the blaze is still under investigation, but East Point Fire does confirm that lightning could be the culprit. Now, the property manager here at the complex says that his management company is working with all of the displaced families to rehouse them at other locations that they run. I also spoke to the assistant principal at uh, Brookview Elementary earlier. She says that she's planning to reach out to the complex because many of her students actually live here. Reporting from East Point, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News. Erica.